this is uh, the great onslaught of Europe, um, because you know the great the great pilgrimage center of Western Europe is Santiago de Compostela, isn't it? And or well, not far from me, in Lourdes actually, uh, it's about an hour and a half drive. Lourdes, yeah, but, but yeah. Santiago is much bigger, and medieval yeah. English yeah. people go there, and the Camino is a big thing. When you get there to a rather, in my view, over Baroque and elaborate bling church, at the centre of it, there's the big statue of St. James, mm. and his title is St. James Matamoros, the Muslim killer. Wow. So the destination of Western Europe's big sacred pilgrimage is this big statue, and he has a white face, he's on his horse, and with his sword, he's cutting the heads off these rather sad-looking, dark-skinned Muslims who are being trampled underfoot. And nowadays, you know, the church finds it a bit unecumenical and embarrassing. So you can see that they arrange flowers to kind of disguise <laughs> these sad-looking Muslims. Yeah, sure. sure <laughs> He's still the patron saint of Spain, uh, St. James yeah. the Muslim killer. And yeah. that's so deeply rooted in the DNA, even of quite secular people, I think, like Douglas yeah. Murray and yeah. so yeah. forth, that it's just very, very hard. But there are people, even from the far right in Europe, who have made the leap into Islam mm -hmm. publicly or privately. I'm in conversation with some they really nationalistic people in Europe, quite well-known people who have Wikipedia pages and a kind of Twitter storm whenever they say something, who have discreetly come to Islam or at least recognize that Islam is the truth. So one should never despair of those people. And, um, and, and you, you Dr. call Dr. them... I believe will be a very good Mahmoud when he finally overcomes yes. this, this, was... this Matamoros DNA and, yes. and, and humbles himself before the Lord of, of Abraham. Wow. That would be a, a, a day to rejoice. So uh, uh, um, you, you quite do it as you that coined this term, submarines. Yep. Oh, what, yeah. what, what are submarines? Submarines are those people of, uh, we don't know how many they are, who convert to Islam and do it, but without announcing it to anybody. I even knew a guy, Jewish guy, who, whose wife was very puzzled that at kind of four o'clock in the morning, he would mysteriously get up out of bed and come back 10 minutes later, a little bit damp. And <laughs> she couldn't figure out what this was about. <laughs> Went on for years. Um, but yes, I, I know a full professor here in Cambridge who's been a Muslim. Occasionally you see him discreetly in the mosque, but he's certainly not known to be Muslim. And uh, there's, you know, there's, I know a guy who is the senior advisor to uh, a cabinet minister in the current government, who is an active convert to Islam, but I think nobody in Boris's team suspects this. There's quite a lot of them. Um, and the idea is that they want the beauty of Islam and they love the form of prayer and the purity of the monotheism and what's not to like. But all of the kind of mm. uh, crisis talk about Muslim communities and Palestine and Afghanistan and so forth, they, they don't feel that they want to take on the psycho babble that goes with it so they 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 keep quiet about it so yeah there's there's certainly a lot of people like that 